Hello YouTube. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain to you a uh, Wordle AI algorithm that I created. I created this algorithm as an assignment for a class, a programming class I teach um, at the high school level. Uh, they had a lot of fun with it, and so I thought uh, I'd share it with you. And um, maybe someone out there is uh, trying to do the same thing, and this will be helpful, or uh, might just be interested in how we did it. So. Um, the, this will be a two part series, uh, in this, in this video, I'm going to go over how the algorithm works, like kind of the idea behind it. And in the second video, I'm going to go over, um, take a closer look at the actual code. Uh, and so the idea was, uh, we were trying to come up with ideas of, um, ways to score words. And what we did was we uh, found the um, this chart of letter frequencies as they appear in words, um, English speaking words. And so this is based on a Google data set of 743 billion words. By the way, this is readily available on the internet. I'll include a link if someone wants to uh, uh, have access to it or you can just screenshot this because this is basically it. Um, and you know, as you can see, you got E is the most frequent followed by T, A, O, and so on. Um, and so what we did was create a list that, um, uh, looked at each word available from, for the Wordle word of the day. Um, so all, basically all the five letter words available, um, that exist, I guess. And then, um, calculated a score for each word. And, uh, and so, uh, after we, um, did that, we actually came up with a tone was the word that was recommended to start with. Um, and I'll back up a second here and just kind of explain a couple of things. So first of all, a tone was actually not the word that was, um, ex uh, recommended first. It was eerie, E-E-R-I-E. -E um, but that, um, uh, and that makes sense, right? Cause it has three E's in it. Uh, but that is actually not a good word to start with. Um, words that have, um, repeats of letters are not great. Not as helpful. You don't gather as much information from them. Um, because it's very rare that, you know, you'll hit on two or three of the repeated letters anyway. Um, and so it's um, more helpful and you have a better chance of actually finding the uh, word if you do not use uh, words with uh, that have the same letter repeated. And so uh, we, um, we only allowed words that did not have repeated letters. And so that's why a tone came to the top um, after we um, uh, put that rule into our algorithm. Um, and the other thing I'll, I'll just point out is so this is today's Wordle. And um, if you, any day that you go to this site, if you go to view source and you go down to this JS file, uh, scroll down a little bit, and here are all the words that are available. Um, there's actually two lists. If you, if you can kind of see this line break, there's two lists. The first list is all the words that could be the actual word of the day. And then there's a larger list that is, guess, all the five letter words that exist. Um, and uh, I guess they, they, you know, the, this is, I think I, I heard about 10,000 in length, 10,000 different words. And then this one's 2,500. And I guess the idea is there that these are words that are uh, more frequently used. So they're not like weird words that you wouldn't think, um, you know, that you would never think to use, right? Uh, so I, that's the idea behind that, but it also was very convenient because we were able to just kind of copy and paste and use this as our starting list. Um, so anyway, that's that's kind of the idea behind it. I'll show you uh, kind of how it works though. So um, this is today's word, um, Wordle, and uh, I actually used the algorithm to to solve this. And I'll show you how we did it. So I put in a tone since that was the first word uh, recommended. And then we use the information that Wordle gives us to come 
here I'll, I'll include the link to this um, in my description as well but so I put in a tone because that was what's recommended as the highest uh, scoring word I list the top five in case you want to use one of the other ones instead um, but what you do then is put it in here after you've put it in Wordle already and then put in the information by using these arrows so um, the the O and the A uh, ex the, the orange means they exist uh, but they're not in the right spot but the T the N and the E are not in the word um, and so what we what we the, added to our algorithm now is when you hit submit here it removes any word that has a T and N and an E from our list so we just keep trimming down the list um, and, and so that's that's how and it makes sure we we keep all the ones that have an A and an L, right? Um, and so we uh, um, hit submit, and then we have this uh, new list of recommended words based on that information that we gave our algorithm. And it's the same scoring system as before, except we just got rid of a lot of words, right? And so now radio is the number one word, and so we put that in. Um, the information came back very similar, just an A and an O, but we know now that R, D, and the I are not in it. And so we can put that information in here and do this, the same thing again, right? Um, hit submit. And now chaos is actually the word it recommends. We put that in. We got a, a, some new information here with the uh, C that is in the right position. And so what happens then when we actually go ahead and um oh i spelled chaos wrong actually um when we go ahead and submit this is the um uh, our algorithm removes any word that does not have c as the first letter um and so we really start to trim it down at this point um with that and we only have one word left that meets that criteria which is kind of amazing to think um, and that's it so we actually solved this in four right um, so comma was the word and um, so there's two ways actually that you can use this um, you can use it just like I showed you there to actually solve it or you can solve it on your own and and kind of go and come on in here and see um, if you use this link you can put in all right so this was the word and if you solved it, like let's say it took you five to solve it, and you want to come here and see how long, um, you know, how quick uh, this the algorithm was able to solve it, hit submit, and it actually tells you um, the score was four, and these were this was the sequence of words that led to the the winning word. Um, so pretty cool. Um, we're pretty proud of uh, that we were able to um, get this to work uh, as well as we did. Um, so I kind of already explained this just by. Um, taking you through that um, we um, there's a lot of just uh, some kind of if statements in that we look at each letter and um, go ahead and, and just basically trim our list our, our overall list of words based on the information we get back um, and uh, like I said I already mentioned how we had a deal with the the word um, eerie um, and uh, there were a couple other little tricky items um you just had to make sure like for instance in this word here if there was um an a uh came back um uh let, let's say there was a and uh two a's in the word and the first one was gray um but maybe back here it was orange you had to make sure you didn't remove that word um, so there was uh, some little intricacies to, to get it to kind of work um, exactly right. Um, and we did make the decision, as you see here, that not to use repeated letters for, for basically the first two guesses. Um, and, and that came after just some, some trial and error that we saw um, how, uh, how well it performed. Um, and actually here you can see that we re ran it on all the words in the um, database and we got a score of 3.8 something, almost 3.9, I guess, um, which is pretty good. You know, it was under four, and that was kind of our goal to see if we can get, because we figure four is kind of what 
the average human um, gets when when they do it. That's kind of par for the course, right? Where um, under that we thought was uh, was pretty good. I'm sure we can get this to get even uh, a little lower. Um, uh, but uh, like I said, if you have any suggestions, we're going to keep working on it. But um, uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. The one thing you'll see here is um, there is uh, this one problem with words that uh, have certain structure to it. Like, uh, for instance, bound here. These these nine words here, it just could not solve in six tries because of the, if you see the, the what it recommends here so at this point you get this recommendation and bound is the last one so it's going to take it like and and this is after like three tries here right and so um it's never going to get to that in time you, you only have six tries right and so uh, actually it's never going to get to to this word either um it would get to pound but that would be on the sixth try um and so there's other words that kind of meet that criteria like like a batch because there's just other words that exist with the a t c h ending um that uh that i don't know that you can really build an algorithm that could um solve that problem um but anyway so i thought i'd share that with you and um in the next uh video i'll kind of uh, take a closer look at the code um for anyone who's interested in that and maybe wants to try and replicate thanks i hope you enjoyed it